How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing episode of Trader Talk. If you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Dapper Willis, and this is a segment of my YouTube channel. This is something you never really find on YouTube, though. But this is a segment of my YouTube channel where I come to show you guys what exactly I am looking at in terms of trade. I come to show you guys what exactly I preach about. This is where I come to practice what I preach, what I preach about on the Forex Mastery program that most of you already have, the Forex trading course. Amazing, by the way. And what I also preach on my YouTube channel, whereby I'm talking about uh, technical tools and all of this and best time frame. I bring everything together on this segment of my YouTube channel to make it make sense, to make it ultimately put some money in your bank account. Now, guys, before I jump into my, my chart, I've got some very juicy trade setups. A lot of things have happened over the last two weeks. As a matter of fact, it's been a very crazy last two weeks. Now, recently, I have been, probably over the last three months, I've been very active on Twitter. Um, if you just type my name on Twitter, I'm verified on Twitter. Um, I've been very active on Twitter, and I get to see how traders react and respond to certain market movements, you know, and it's, it's just very funny because over the last two weeks, about 10 to, to 12 days, the market has been very much up and down. And something very euphoric happened to me. I've started to feel a certain level of peace. Very, very, very interesting. I mean, I've, I've, I've always felt peace when it comes to trading, but I felt more peace the last 10 days because with the whole market movement being very uncertain, although I knew what was happening, but a lot of traders didn't really know what was happening. I'll explain to you guys what was happening shortly. But I think because I... You know, there was so much chaos in the market and because I knew what exactly the market was doing, I felt so much peace. I wasn't jumping in from trades to trades, you know, and do you know how peaceful it is for you to know that regardless of whatever happens, the market is going to go in your direction? Now, that's, that is exactly when you can actually call yourself a professional Forex trader. Think about it. The market, because I've been shot AUD USD. Now, guys, this is very important, right? This is absolute belief in my approach to the market. Okay, the market has been jumping up and down. I've been shot AUD USD for maybe two weeks now, and every time the market went uh, game, obviously went in profit. You're going profit for tens of thousands of dollars. I'll be like, all right, cool. The market will go back. To my entry, I'll be like, all right, cool. The market will go negative, I'll be like, all right, cool. The market will come back to positivity, I'll be like, all right, cool. Like, I've, I've, I've never felt this de emotionally detached from the profit and loss in my trading balance sheet. Never felt this detached. Like, I feel so at peace because, you know, the fact that I know that regardless of whatever is happening, I know exactly what the market wants to do. Now, guys, I know you might seem like this guy, this guy, is, this guy is just blabbing, but think about it. You know, I don't, I don't need to, I'm not stressing, everybody's jumping up and down. Like, I'm not stressing one bit, you know? And that comes with, I call it true Forex mastery, okay? And this is what I pray and I hope for every single one of you who's watching this video right now. I pray you get to a point whereby you have true forex mastery because this is where the real money lies this is really not even money this is where the real wealth lies because you have freedom of time and you have peace of mind and you have the market making money for you like now the market works for me i don't have to always be in front of my screen like because i know like i've set the trades i've done my analysis and here you go place the trades and i don't need to do anything else i go travel in the private jet and do other things and the market is jumping up and down like a yo-yo i'm sleeping like a baby because i know my analysis is correct my approach to the market is called for those of you guys who do not know it's called a top-down analysis and i teach this on the forex mastery program you know it's so soothing to know that regardless of whatever is happening because i open twitter from time to time I'm like everybody's like you know 
You know what's funny about people on Twitter? By the way, if you haven't gotten the Forex Mastery program, ensure to get it, okay? So that you can indeed, have it. that's why I call it the Forex Mastery program, so that you can have the Forex Mastery, so that regardless of whatever happens in the market, you are at peace because you know eventually the market is going to go in your direction. You know the right place to place your stops, you know the right entries, so that you can become right 9 out of 10 times, okay? Very, very important. Get the Forex Mastery program. The link is in the description or around here somewhere. I also noticed something on Twitter as well. Uh, I noticed that anytime the market goes in my favor in terms of goes away from my entry into profit, everybody's like, you're the king or the best. And then the market pulls back up and then everybody's like, you know, the haters are always hitting on the need somewhere, man. You know, that's when the haters start to come on like, this guy, you don't know what you're doing, and blah, blah, blah. And and then there's another group of people who are just buying and selling and all that, and at the end of the day, blown accounts. And I'm just here, not even bothered, like I'm just chilling. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to strive for Forex mastery so that you can have peace of mind just like myself so enough about all of that i'm going to jump into the video um i hope you guys understand where i'm coming from when i talk about forex mastery it's so much it's so peaceful and i'm going to explain to you guys technically what i'm talking about you know go over different tra different charts different trades i'll explain to you guys what's been happening you know in the forex market why has the market not been training why has it been jumping from up to down i know there have been a lot of blown accounts because once the market is obviously bucking the trend going against the trend so suddenly a lot of traders don't know how to handle it and then it goes into a range and then psh, blown account so once again guys ensure to grab the forex mastery program so that you can achieve forex mastery like myself link in the description or around here somewhere all right guys that's it let's jump into the video let's go all right guys so welcome 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 inside of my screen today i'm going to theme this trader talk episode forex mastery okay so i'm gonna be preaching about what it feels like and what it takes to master the art of forex okay how to remain calm in the storm and how to analyze the market from a perspective whereby you don't ever have to worry about what the market is going to do next because you know you're going to be right nine out of ten times has a very high strike rate so without any further ado i have AUD USD in front of me but you guys already know the principle you guys already know the the, the drill before i have before i continue with this video you have to just do me one favor just go down there and smash the subscribe button right there okay and drop me a comment and tell me if you find this video helpful just say something in the comments, show some level of appreciation, just say anything in the comment. Your comments mean a lot to me. To me, I read them all, all the time. And this gives me an opportunity to, to interact with you guys. So very first thing, I'm gonna give you five seconds right about now. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button, okay? Five, I'm waiting for you. Four, right there, right there. Three, two, one. Okay, and that's good. So I can see most of you have already done. I can't see, but I'm hoping you guys have. And don't forget to put the bell icon on so that once I drop these kind of videos, which I do quite often, um, you guys be the first people to see them. This way you're not left behind on anything. And obviously don't forget to grab the Forex Mastery program. Now enough of all of that. Um, so back to the, to the topic at hand, which is how to master this thing called Forex. Now, Obviously, I won't be able to share everything with you guys because a lot of the information that I teach is proprietary to the Forex Mastery students. But on here, um, based, uh, judging from what has happened over the past two weeks, you know, I'm going to show some, I'm going to share some really cool stuff that you guys might find really interesting, right? So the very first pair I like to kick off with is AUD USD, or Australian dollar, US dollar, right? So you guys already know from my previous Trader Talk videos, I have been short this pair. You know, and I've been shot AUD USD for quite some time now. Okay, I've been shot AUD USD actually not from here, but from somewhere inside about here. So it's a breakout rate. So my 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 short trades are somewhere about here. Okay, now when we dropped all the way down to right about here, obviously we pulled back. Now what tends to happen is the market will will pull back into 
a cluster okay now this cluster is usually either a demand or supply region now in this case this is a supply region why is this a supply region because if you notice there was a massive sell-off from here so most of the time obviously you have to first of all understand that the overall move for AUD USD is for it to come to the bottom which is here okay which is here and actually break into my overall target for this is 0.600 which is a round number now this market is expected to travel all the way from here to here but like i keep preaching to you guys the market is not linear it's not just going to go okay as you can see we've dropped down we've dropped all the way from the highs to the lows about here a consolidation is very very mandatory for this market to continue in this current direction now this is the kind of uh, market movement that i like to see because the very first thing is i will project as you know i will always come on higher time frames as you can see which is the weekly time frame i will then project you know based on the market movement as you can see the market is making a uh, lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low this is an equal high um but kind of like obviously it's a lower low this is an equal high but as you can see the market has already started to bleed to the downside now my overall view of this market is to for it to come all the way down here so the very first approach as you know is to project over a thousand pips into the future in this case my my entries are just on that 0.7 thousand all the way down to 0.6 thousand which is all the way down here so from zone to zone so i have forecasted a thousand pip drop but the thing about the market is it doesn't just drop a thousand pips overnight okay the market is going to move and then go sideways before you continue moving in, in, in its original direction now because i know this first of all i know that the market wants to come down you know so all i'm thinking about is selling opportunities so i have a sell position somewhere around here and then the market drops down and then it retraces now i like these retracements because it gives me another opportunity to jump in so as opposed to just taking only 1000 pips throughout the whole move i get to add an extra position so if we drop all the way from my entries which is somewhere about here uh 0.6768 blah 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 so if we drop down so you're looking all the way down to 0.6 thousand you're looking at about another 750 pip drop so if you add that to the existing 1000 pip drop you have 1700 pips so we're pushing almost 2000 pips and then hopefully we find another seller opportunity down here so this is my approach okay guys listen this is the art of forex mastery i look for one pair that i know is going to trend based on what's happening on the higher time frame and i stick to it so i've seen what's happening on the higher time frame it's going to drop a thousand pips so i then look for selling opportunities and i know because i understand the principles of price action which state that the market doesn't just drop meaning that it will it will, it will drop curl Within that consolidation period, I will find another trading setup. It will drop again. It will curl. So within a 1,000 pip drop, I can find two to three positions, if sometimes four. This way, I'm not just taking home 1,000 pips. I'm taking home almost 3,000 pips, okay, on one pair and one market movement, okay? So what this does for me is I'm able to focus and concentrate on one pair and I'm not jumping from various pairs to various pairs although I might have them on my watch list and trade them from time to time but when I see one that is juicy and is ready to go I like to focus on it and concentrate on it over a period of time why because it is stress-free I don't have to worry I just keep needing to I just need to keep adding positions and locking in my profit and allow the market to work for me now that being said I, I posted an analysis last week. I said that the market was going to run into the supply region, which is here, and then drop. So we did that, and then the market dropped. So I was already short inside here once I bounced off of this. Um, I had a different strategy that I used to jump in here. And then, obviously, we started to come out all the way to the outside. Don't forget, stops must go above here. Stops must go significantly over to the next supply region, which is here. Um, so <clears throat> now you have to understand that the market tried to drop here we rallied all the way to the upside now obviously i knew that the drop wasn't going to happen because we're still testing here we tried to drop again the market smashed against the supply region now this is where i thought yes indeed we're good to go 
about here so i checked the chart and the market was you know very very close to my first level uh target now usually i like to take out my first target about here and then at this point here once the market gets here i will then move my stop losses to break even okay so i'm like i even tweeted about it you know home run we're good to go and then I, I for every time i open my chart which is like once or twice a day maybe once a day i don't like to always check my, my charts i noticed that the market was just playing around here and just refusing to drop you get what i mean and then i started to see a particular formation i was just like oh fuck, you know now guys there's something that's very interesting that i need to explain to you guys if you're in a trade okay and for some strange reason the market just doesn't want to continue dropping its original direction that's supposed to go and for every time we try it we're flinging you know come now it just just isn't happening and then you start to see a mini head and shoulder pattern form if you look this is a left shoulder head right once i saw this i'm like okay this guy's not this guy isn't actually ready to drop so at this point i knew two things are going to happen we either we either have intentions of coming to test the outer point of this trend line and then drop or we want to go and test the stop loss area yes i had no doubt in me that the market was going to continue was going to head in my direction i was just like oh. The market wants to go and test the stop loss region so once we started to run back into this region i already knew that that was going to happen because once the head and shoulder pattern forms within your trade chances are that it wants to go and test this region and it wants to go because you have to understand guys think about it i want you to think about this logically this market wants to drop a thousand pips do you really think that the market makers are just going to give up a thousand pips like that never <laughs> it needs to shake out everybody shakeable it will shake it out shake it out like this shake away do you know the amount of confusion that happened within this region every day we're dropping and then we're going up the amount of conflict traders were buying and selling and i saw so many analysis of people even telling me that AUD USD is now bullish here they told me what bullish was going to i'm like you guys that means you guys don't understand how this market works so a lot of buy sell so in this region that you can see here it, it looks very simple and calm and this is the, the thing when i think this is the this is the um this is the challenge with back testing when you're back testing emotions are not involved when you're trading in real time that's exactly what you get to know do you know how many blown accounts are in this region right about here this zone this 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 range because the market is up it's down it's up it's down it's down. people are like okay it's time for us to go and people are drawing all sorts of funny things left right and center and the trend line um, counter trend and it's just an absolute mess but like i said true forex mastery is when you understand what exactly the market is really up to okay when you understand what the market is really up to and i wasn't really surprised that AUD USD went for a push above why because at the time which i'm at the time the euro was very bullish now when the euro usd is bullish other pairs associated with the dollar become bullish because the euro usd is dxy inverted what that means is if the euro usd is going up the dollar weakens it's it is what it is that's how exactly how euro usd works so if euro usd is going up the dollar is going to weaken and when there's a weak dollar what happens obviously a australian dollar against the us dollar is obviously going to gain strength because this means aud aud is gaining strength and usd is losing strength right so anytime euro usd is going up aud usd will follow suit gbp usd will follow suit all the usd nzd usd will follow suit and stuff like that so that was like a, that was part of the catalyst as to why we pushed all the way back into this region as well and then cpi data came out for the first time in my life i'm seeing cpi actually make some major moves i don't really listen to the news because it's all a distraction and i also see traders who are constantly trading the news and 
that's I'll leave that I'll leave that subject for another day. I need to address why news trading doesn't really work, but that's that, that's that's a discussion for another day, right? So with all these things happening, the Euro USD bullish, CPI coming out, you know, terrible for the US dollar. It was only natural for AUD USD to push all the way back up. Now, guys, I'm explaining to you now. This is a trade I am currently in. Now, this is when I say forex mastery. I'm saying mastering your forex psychology. Okay, and understanding what exactly is happening. So in all of this, I was just chilling because I just said, you, I just said to myself, as long as we sustain below this supply region, AUD USD is going to drop. I don't care what happens. And for every time the market is pushing up, we smash back down. We test it again, we smash back down. We test it again, we've now smashed back down yet again. Honestly, I do believe this is the last. I think at this point we've we, we've manipulated the market once because this was the initial previous highs. Manipulated the market once, manipulated the market once, twice. It's gonna drop, okay, without a doubt. But I'm just trying to explain to you guys the thought process. You know when the market isn't exactly acting the way you want it to act, okay? So AUDUSD, ladies and gentlemen, is going to drop. Although to the downside, I have no doubt. Next level target is 0.65781. If you want, you can scale to a one-hour time frame and look for potential selling opportunities for when this market is just going to drop all the way. It's going to, it's, it's going to tank. It's gone. It's gone, guys. And then overall targets for AUDUSD. You know me. I'm very and I kept on telling people. I said, look, I am going to stick with my rules one guy was telling me oh blah 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 on twitter you don't know what you're doing i'm like dude i don't care what the market is doing i will stick to my rules because these rules have made me a lot of money they've made me a very rich man i fly private i've got millions i do whatever it is the hell i want to do i'm able to sleep well at night and i make so much money from the market why would you think that i would deviate from my rules my rules have made me rich and I said to him, I said, as long as we sustain below this supply region, we're definitely going to come to this green bar. If we get to the green bar and the market decides to do something else, that's fine. But one thing I do know is in order for this market to reverse, the markets don't reverse like this. Markets need to reverse on a double bottom. It's another thing. The market will need to reverse on a double bottom. And we haven't done that. No, we have not done that. The market hasn't come on. If the market wants to reverse, it will definitely let me know. So at least we'll come in here and then whatever happens from here is fine. But trust me, guys, I do believe the market is going to drop because the Euro USD has put in a double top and I'm going to be explaining that to you guys. So sorry I wasted too much time on AUD USD. I just wanted to explain to you guys how the whole game goes. Okay, so sometimes the game is a bit rigged. The market is, is just going to trap everybody in here take you up take you down blah 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 that's why i keep telling people stay away from the charts place one or two trades and go hang out with your family and relax so over to the next pair which is the euro usd now what's been happening now the real reason why we've been having all this hocus pocus all these smoky mirrors all this buhaha yo-yo movement going on in the forex market is because of this guy now you have to understand that the euro usd has put in what seems to be like a very clear reversal pattern okay so what has happened on the high time frame you see how i go, go from higher time frame all the way down to lower time frame so what has happened is if you just zoom out a bit you will notice that um obviously this is a very nice downtrend but since this downtrend started all the way first of march no 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 it started first of june last year so since first of june last year oof, trust me between june and uh, all the way down into october it's been a beautiful ride like i've been selling euro usd selling gbp usd so you know in in very quick succession okay in very quick succession from 2021 all the way into 2020 till till this till 2022 it was easy just sell 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 so this actually started 2021 which was the other the other um not this last year the year before that so this market has been selling off for almost two years now almost two years so for two whole years and this is exactly why i'm not even going to lie to you i've made a lot of money selling the euro usd you know fantastic returns almost 140 percent last year we returned to our investors fantastic year 
Okay, uh, the reason obviously when the euro or when the dollar is trending in this case euro USD, it's always a lot easier for you to make money. Now, <clears throat> what's now happened is we've come we came into parity, so this is parity. Okay, one point zero zero. We breached it a bit. We came. Let me zoom in so that you guys can see. We came into parity, which was 1.00, which is about here, which is a round number. We came, although we breached it a bit, because here we breached it down here a bit, and then we started to bounce all the way to the upside. After every move, there must be a resultant move. It's only natural for this to happen. So once the market started to show signs of bullish momentum and all that, yes, I was like, all right, cool. I was expecting us to bounce off of here for a third touch of the trend line. That didn't happen, okay? So what the market then did was it broke out of this trend line. Simple and straightforward analysis. Break out of trend line, retest, make it high. We will pull back. In this case, we came and sat on the base of this. At the time, I wasn't paying attention to Euro USD properly because I was still in a bearish mindset, okay? However, we came and we spun around. So this is a clear change of trend. Well, medium term change of trend, okay? So as you can see, all you need is a daily candle pull. Look at this, a tweezer bottom. Bullish engulfing candle off of a major level. We're back in this zone. We're back in this bad boy, like we've broken back into this bad boy range and we're here. This is exactly what's happening. And <clears throat> that's exactly what's bringing about all the change of trend across board. Okay? All technical. Now, what we should have done, rather what I should have done was I should have started looking for Euro USD buy opportunities once I saw all of this was happening. This is a setup. This is something that I really always like to trade, but I was so focused on AUD USD at the time that I wasn't really interested in trading this. Anyways, <clears throat> now, to now really explain to you guys why, okay, we've changed, in, dude, there's been a change in trend, but why has the change in trend not been smooth? Because it's been very choppy. Because today you're buying tomorrow yourself. If it was that obvious, if it was that smooth, everybody would have just bought and just been Euro USD would have just been giving everybody fantastic profit. But it hasn't been that way. Why has that been the case? Simple. Because the overall flow of this market is south. The overall flow of this market is south. Now, anytime there's a change in trend, or rather, a medium-term change in trend is never going to be smooth. It is never what going to be smooth. Sorry, guys. I know I keep flipping between time frames, but it's never going to be smooth. And that's why you see it might just look like normal candles. But if I scale down to a one-hour time frame, it's been a nightmare for traders. And I know it's been a nightmare. All this, all this, you see all this, you know, we're making. Take a look at this, guys. On the one hour time frame so what you see here is a higher high a higher low a lower high a lower high and a higher low this doesn't make any sense this is invalid when it comes to counting waves because if we have a higher high we have a higher low we should come and put in a higher high and put in a higher low to continue that trend correct basic but that doesn't happen we come in and put in a lower high in an uptrend. So now people are not really, people are like, mm, what's happening here? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's happening here? This market is just, or if you look closely, it's even looking like a double top. Okay. It maybe it's about time. And then what happens is people start selling here. Sales come down here and then the market takes all, the, all of them back to the upside, or back, back to the top. Now, why was all of this happening? It's because... There was still a lot of selling pressure on the euro a lot because it takes a while for everybody to be on the same page and be like okay this market is actually changing trend but i knew do you get what i'm saying <clears throat> i actually i had a I, I wanted to shut this market all the way down here before we rally to the upside but from a monthly time frame i could tell that this guy was not a joke this bullish engulfing candle it was he wanted to fire all the way to the upside so now what's the future for the euro you asked me now from what i can see very clearly this green bar will really determine what's exactly going to happen next across board in forex period 
the euro usd sets the precedence it sets the tone to everything because like i said if you flip the euro guys i know this is very long but like i said this is forex mastery at its finest this will set the precedence as to what is going to happen guys once again as you're watching this if you haven't grabbed the forex mastery program ensure to do so you can see how i'm dissecting the bad boys down i'm breaking it down i'm explaining to you guys the forex mastery program will help you understand this market better once again the link is in the description ensure to what to get it okay forex mastery students you know so you know that so this is a breakout retest continuation to the upside now this green bar is, is is like i said is what is going to decide what happens next okay now from what i can see on a daily time frame okay we are we are sort of like having a, some some form of a challenge about here okay so like a cluster okay now two things if this green bar holds we will drop it's going to be a breakdown because this will be officially and technically a double a double top the euro needs to clear this region if we can clear here ladies and gentlemen euro usd is a no-brainer next level target 1.4500 i'll just be using pullbacks into demand zones and banging it all the way to the upside it will be so easy okay it will be what it will be so easy pull back into demand regions and bam it's going to be so easy but if we are unable to break here and we start pointing lower, we're going to crash all the way back down to 1.512. So this is pretty much the, uh, the determinant factor, okay? So I'm going to be giving it another week because I know Euro USD can never stay in one place. It's so impatient. It's always going to move. It's going to show its hand. So I would wait for this to tell me what exactly is going to happen next before I jump on the Euro USD. But the Euro USD is looking really nice. It looks clean. It looks clear. And it's time for me to start trading the euro dollar once again so that's euro dollar in a nutshell guys i need it i need to see confirmation are we going to break higher or come down here all i need is one candle bullish or bearish if i see bearish all the way down into 1.0483 ooh, we might start selling so if i just draw this trend line if we break down here we're going to start dropping if we bounce from here to the upside it's time to start buying it's as simple as abc simple entry strategies check the forest mastery program actually i think i'm going to update it with the demand and supply thingy i'm not sure yet i'll look into that so same thing for gbp usd as well in a nutshell gbp usd is simple and straightforward we are currently testing the top of this triple top for 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 gbp usd is even looking a lot more certain that we're not going to go higher you know why i'll explain to you why i'll explain to you why why it's looking a lot more less likely for us to go higher <clears throat> okay the weekly candle has pierced here but from what i can see on a daily time frame if i just delete this from what i can see on a daily time frame we're having difficulties at this very very key resistance level about here very 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 deep issues going on with gbp usd about here so if i come to the daily time frame i'm going to look at this very very strategically now if we're unable to this green bar is everything like i keep saying to you guys if we can break above voila fine all well and good if not if this bad boy comes to take out this support zone which is about here okay if i come to a four hour time frame just explain this to you guys i'm just just, just going to adjust this I need to go to monthly time because that looks too thick. Good. Make sure that the level is still the level. Me and all my niggas doing well, doing well though. Yep, that level was too thick. Sorry guys, I just want to simplify everything for you guys, okay? So this is what it looks like on the weekly. So I'm going to highlight this weekly highs. So I'm going to use a black black thingy to highlight this area right about here, okay? You can see that pretty nicely. So 
Just like EURUSD, we have two options. We can break out and just move all the way to the upside. You know, we have so much space to the upside, but the daily isn't looking really nice for GBPUSD as we speak. We've rallied into weekly resistance, key weekly resistance, and we formed a double top on the daily time frame. Now, if this fails to hold, we're going to bleed all the way back down into 1.2100 simple it's, it's not even rocket science because this is now officially a triple top okay so just like euro usd just like euro usd hold on guys i need to draw the trend line in two ways just to make sure i'm accommodating everything fine so just like euro usd this re we've come to very very significant areas in the market so this is really decidable for gbp usd i'm just watching it i'm just watching it uh we might fall off i'm not even gonna lie to you okay so if i come to a four hour time frame just to see what exactly is happening the four hour time frame looks like a double top that doesn't look friendly at all if i were you i'll map this out like so if we're able to clear this region next level target will be 1.12500 take it from me you had it here first on dapsi radio and then we're going to come all the way down here it's a no-brainer trade okay so that's gbp usd okay now over to gold gold is trying its best but no way to we as a matter of fact there's nothing i really want to discuss on gold because gold is just throwing forks at this point throwing forks throwing forks i'm not interested in that now before i go i wanted to go over oil and btc but let me see sorry guys i think i'm going to save oil for another day because oil looks really juicy to me okay very very juicy to me if this monthly candle closes like this which i'm i let's leave oil for now more confirmation but we might rally all the way to the upside due to geopolitical factors um, oil is not just strictly technical so you need to back it up with some geopolitical factors as well so we'll leave oil for now btc on the other hand is my guy at the moment okay ladies and gentlemen let me just delete this btc is most likely going to rally all the way to the upside okay i like what btc is doing at the moment i'm interested in btc highly interested in btc sorry guys next level target for btc 31,600. guys you know i've been I've, i i call all this i did all this analysis before we've come on here we've break into the top 31,618. if we are able to take that out BTC might rally all the way into this bad boy, which is here, 47K. So once again, BTC is approaching a certain level of resistance, which is supply zone. Um, I'm going to be watching this. Let's see if we can scale down to a lower time frame and potentially find buy, buy opportunities. All right, cool. So I think BTC, we might be able to jump in some buy positions around here. So this is the next demand area about here. So yeah, BTC, we could easily lift off. Yeah. So this is a decent setup for BTC. From 29,800 to 31K, I am bullish Bitcoin. Highly bullish Bitcoin. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll see how the week unfolds. Once again, to quickly recap, this AUD USD is bearish. You can look for selling opportunities to drop this bad boy into here. We've done all the market manipulation that can be done. We're coming down here, okay? The euro, we're chilling. GBPUSD, we're chilling. BTC is a buy once we pull into 29,800, uh, okay? 29,800 will be a decent area to buy. Um, let's see, go down to four hour time frame. Yeah, so this is exactly where the demand zone kicks off. So let's see what the daily time frame is saying. Yeah, that's the daily demand level right there. Cool. So yeah, BTC into 31681, okay? That's going to be a nice buy. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with me to the very end. As you can see, I've taken my time to explain this to you guys, break it down. You have nothing to fear. It's all about top-down analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, next week I will break down BTC a bit more. I think I need to do like a, a very separate video for BTC yeah i think i'm gonna do that all right guys i love you guys very much take it easy and i'll catch you guys on my other screen let's go all right guys thank you thank you thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of this very lengthy video i hope i've been able to explain to you guys the true 
essence of forex mastery okay very very important right and i wish you guys a very pipful and profitable week ahead i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos once again if you haven't already grabbed the forex mastery program the link is in the description as always i'll catch you guys in my other videos i love you very guys very much i love you i love you guys very, very much that's my time that ball list and take it easy and peace out